Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. For this week's project, let's turn this tiny wooden top. Now, these can be made by a number of different ways. I like to color them nicely, and I like a size that is at least reasonable to work with. But years ago, I saw a demonstration by Eli Avicera that I'd like to emulate for this one. In this case, he added a small box to it. What's so special about that? Well, the top becomes the lid to the box. The box, if you invert it, can become a platform for it to, to spin the top on. There we go. Got it. And you can put a little, little goodie inside when you give it to somebody who will appreciate it. So for this week's project, we'll turn this little box. But another note, I'm putting together the Christmas Ornament Challenge. This is the 10th anniversary of the challenge, and I'm at, hoping to add a little bit more spice and have sponsors for the challenge who can add prizes and gifts and goodies for the participants in the challenge. So whether you're North American or international, and you have a favorite vendor that you'd like to see in the challenge, please have them contact me so that we can get them in and add a little bit more fun to the already fun challenge for this year. But for now, let's make our little spin top and box. This wood is a hazelnut sucker. As usual, after a minimum of roughing, it is time to cut a tenon sized for my smaller chuck jaws. My favorite tenon tool is my skew. Now I can finish my roughing cuts, however I do not need the entire length. My bowl gouge is most convenient for this task. Because the wood is hanging a long way from the headstock, but I still want live center support, I put a rubber stopper on my live center, for insurance. My tool now is a spindle gouge. I cut a shallow concave area between the rim and the point. Can I still call that concave? I also cut back the diameter just a little. You'll see why shortly. Spindles of this size do not take much to sand. For the bottom, I'm using a Wagner texture tool. I mark the edges with a skew, followed by some colored lines with Tombow markers. Finally, a quick shot of rattle can lacquer to lock in the color. With my spindle gouge, I take some heavy cuts to remove wood at the top of the top. Then work down removing wood and shaping the top side and center spindle. Then sand this just a little. For the top side of the top, I remove most of the wood with a spindle gouge, but finish up with my skew for a better finish where I can. Then just a little fine sanding. I cannot put enough pressure on the top side to use a texturing tool, but the colored pens again come in handy for a little top color. After all, most of the time I cannot see the bottom color when the top is spinning. Again a little lacquer to seal the color. Then part off the top. What to do with all that wood still hanging out from the chuck? How about a small box? The top will serve as the lid. I drill the very center, then switch to a small box scraper for hollowing. I need just a little shaping to match the top for the lid. I change over to the exterior. I mark the depth on the outside, then mark that point with a shallow parting cut. With the limits established, I can use my skew to form a top and bottom bead and remove the wood between. Then a quick sand and apply a mix of beeswax and mineral oil for a finish. Finally, finish parting off the box portion.
The chuck for my small lathe has a smaller expansion hole that fits the box. Between my box scraper and skew, I clean up the bottom side of the box. A little more oil and wax finishes off my little box. If I am careful, I can invert the box and spin the top on the bottom of the box. Now, if that did not make sense, you haven't been paying attention. Plus, a little treat can be hidden inside. I like it. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video and add it to my website. Please wear your full face shield for safety anytime the lathe is running. I will see you next week with another wood turning video.